Together in this video, we're going to go ahead and display our ammo count on the screen. So in order to do that, this would be a good time to basically set up a UI manager that's going to basically control all the overlay on our screen. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new game object by hitting Control shift n Command shift n if you're on a Mac, and call this the UI manager. Go ahead and set UI underscore manager. And better yet, we actually don't need to do this. I apologize. We can actually just assign this to our canvas, the script we're going to write. We, our canvas will be our UI manager. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a UI manager script. UI manager. I'm going to attach it to our canvas so that our canvas has the UI manager component. Let's go ahead and open this up. And this is going to be responsible for updating our ammo count. So what I want to do basically is have some functionality in here that our player can call on to. And basically every time we fire and we subtract ammo, we're going to go ahead and update, this, update the display. So here, we're going to go ahead and say public void update ammo. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a count. We'll say int count. So whatever we pass in from the player will be our ammo count. We're going to go ahead and update the text for that. So in order to update the text, we need to first have some text. So let's go ahead and right click on our canvas here. We have our crosshair. Let's go ahead and create an image. And I apologize, not an image. Let's go ahead and create some text. And let's go ahead and call this ammo underscore text. Okay, so here we go with our ammo underscore text. We can go ahead and zoom in on it. And you'll see here that uh, it's in this overlay box here. Let's go ahead and rotate this. So you can't, you might not be able to see it very well, but it's in the center of your screen. If you actually go ahead and change the color or make it a little bit bigger, let's make it about 15. Change the color to say red maybe. For now we'll make it, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and make mine uh, white. I'm going to keep it white. And what I want to do is I want to call this ammo. And we're going to basically display a number next to it. So it will update like this, ammo 50. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bottom left here. Now I want to be able to anchor that so that if I rescale the game, it will stay there. So I'm going to click the anchor here in, in the right. And I'm going to choose the bottom left corner. Now what will happen here is as I scale my game, the, uh, as I change aspect ratios, the ammo will stay there. So we'll go back to the 16.9, and my ammo is set to 50. Now, if I want to increase this font size, but it disappears eventually, the reason why it's doing that is because the wrap needs to overflow, and the truncate needs to overflow. And now we can actually see our fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it at about 30 for the font, and basically ammo is set to 50. So what I want to do now is we need to actually get a reference to this text component. In order to do that, we need to use the UI library using system, Unity Engine, Unity Engine dot UI. And from that, I can actually get a reference now to that text component. I can go ahead and say private text. And my tooltip has gone away, but it's private text. And then we'll go ahead and call it uh, ammo text. I'll create a serialized field above it. And let's go ahead and save this, head back into Unity. And I'll let this project recompile. Okay, if you click on the player, you'll see we have some ammo text here. I'll drag that in. And what I can do now is in the update ammo count, I need to modify that that uh, that ammo text. So to do that, I'm just going to say ammo text, the text of that. And here, let me go ahead and get my tooltip back. If your tooltip in Visual Studios ever disappears, go ahead and just close Visual Studios. Go ahead and save it. And you can just open it back up. So once that loads, we can go ahead and get started. So here we have our ammo text. Let's update it. We're going to say our ammo text dot text 
is going to equal the ammo, and then we're going to append the count to it. So we're gonna say count. So if there's 49, 48, 47, whatever it is, we're gonna update the text to, this, to represent that. Let's go ahead and save this. And now the problem here that we're facing is when do we call update ammo? We're gonna call update ammo from our player using script communication. Now in order to access the UI manager, I need to find the game object canvas, access the UI manager component, and then I can call this update ammo method. Now when do I wanna actually call that method? I wanna call that method every time I modify current ammo. So to do that, we need to first get a reference to our UI manager. So I'm gonna say private UI manager, call it underscore UI manager. In void start, we need to get a reference to it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say UI manager equals game object dot find. We're gonna find the UI, uh, the canvas. Let's find the canvas. And then once I've found the canvas, I can now get a component that I want off it. And that component is the UI manager. Now remember, when working with get component, the component you're grabbing needs to match the type of reference you're looking for. So we're looking for a UI manager, so I'm grabbing the UI manager component. We'll go ahead and save this. And now we can scroll down here and actually use the UI manager whenever we modify our ammo. So here I've modified it. Let's go ahead and call UI manager dot update ammo. And you can see here it's looking for a count. I'm gonna pass in current ammo. We'll go ahead and save that. Scroll down to our reload method. And when we, up, when we reload our ammo, we also want to update with the count. So here, after setting the current ammo back to max ammo, we need to call on to the UI manager and we're gonna tell it to update ammo with the current ammo. We'll go ahead and save this. Head back into Unity, and let's go ahead and give it a shot. Right now it's compiling. We run the game. You'll see here that my ammo is now accurately working. I have 18 shots left. I'm down to zero. If I reload 1.5 seconds later, I'm back at 50. There's our ammo system. I'll see you guys in the next section.